company says, we're shocked they went on strike. How are you shocked? Did you think that we would go to 90 hours before we would hit the streets? Force overtime causes divorces. It caused people to kill themselves that used to work here. Okay, there have been several employees that have killed themselves, okay, that have worked here over the years, okay? This is a continual thing. It destroys marriages, it destroys families. We have to do something with the suicide shifts because to work 12 hours and be off eight and work 12 hours, you got time, travel time and everything. I said, that's a safety risk. Imagine being an employee in here that has not had a day off for five months. That is the reality of what you're seeing. That is the reality of why you're really seeing the picket over here. Four or five years ago, we had a guy and man, he, he was working all the time and, and he uh, stopped off at a rest stop on I-70 and uh, he fell asleep and you know, he didn't wake up. Company wants to call it a squeeze shift. It's it, it, nothing squeezing about it, it's suicide. system is used to fire people. We're getting penalized for taking time off. I've had to cancel so many doctor appointments, dentist appointments, that I could not make them because of the forced overtime. Walking out the plant last second, hey, you're forced over. Things need to change. This is not a way you treat people. sign and the boot represents Frito-Lay and under the boots is the people standing which is us, the workers, the union. We can stop the boot with the help of the community, with all the people in the union. Yeah, we can do it. We can stop the boot. Seeing the impact of our unity now, there's no chips in the stores, they can barely get things up and running, but we now see our unity, we now see where our strength is. And I'm sure once we get to go back in there, which we will get to go back in there, we'll be stronger than before.